Hey y'all, welcome to Ebonics Academy where I teach you Sims 4 custom content tips. In today's lesson, I'm going to teach you a very popular requested lesson, which is how to create a render for your Sims using Blender. If you're completely new to Blender, then this tutorial might be a bit tricky, so I would suggest taking my free Skillshare class to get a basic understanding of how to move around in Blender. The first step that you want to take is to save the Sim that you want to render. So you can either make a new Sim directly from Create a Sim and start a new save or go into a save that you already have and enter the household of the Sim that you want to export. In this case, I'm going to enter a household of a Sim that I would like to export. Me! <laughs> So once you're in game and your sim is wearing whatever it is that you want them to be wearing in this render, you're going to want to save the game and then just exit. Next, we're going to export your sim using the Sims 4 Sim Ripper. There's a link for this in the description. Once you've downloaded the file and extracted it, run the program like so. And don't worry, it's going to take a little bit of time to load up and then you're likely going to get an error at the beginning. Don't worry about this error, the developer knows about it, it's fine, just hit OK. Once the program is loaded, you're going to look for the save that you just did, which will likely be at the very top of your save folder. You're then going to click Open. Once that's opened, you'll see a list of names and these are all of the sims in that save. So you're going to look for the name of the sim that you would like to render. Hit the sim's name and wait for it to load. Once your sim's loaded in, you want to make sure that you get all the export settings right. So make sure you've selected solid and glass meshes and texture, HQ, texture size, and then you're going to export your sim as a day file, which is the third option. And don't worry if it takes a little while. Save your sim somewhere easy to find because then you are going to be importing your sim into Blender. Once you open up Blender, you're going to select the cube, press X and delete it. Then you're going to import a Collada day file. Locate where you just saved your day file, select it and import it. Once you successfully imported your sim, change your shader to the material shader so you can see the textures. Hit the drop down on the rig in the outliner and you'll see your solid and glass meshes. Select the first mesh and then head down to the material tab and reduce the specular. So that's going to reduce the layer of Vaseline that she's got on. <laughs> You'll then do the same thing for your glass mesh by selecting it in the outliner and reducing the specular to your desired amount. You now want to open another viewport to adjust your shader nodes. Move your cursor to the top corner of your viewport till it changes to a little plus. Click and drag it across until you see another window opening. Then click the viewport drop down, select the shader editor, and making sure that your glass mesh is still selected. In the shader editor, you want to enable the alpha for the hair, glasses, and lashes. Using your mouse, left click and hold on the alpha input and drag it down to the alpha output on the BDSF shader. Then back in the materials tab, scroll down to the blend mode settings. Usually you would be using the alpha blend but because we're having some transparency issues with the hair and the glasses, as you can see here, um, in this case, we're going to be using the alpha hashed blend mode instead. It's a bit grainy here, so we're going to change the viewport render settings to reduce that. So you just have to increase the amount of viewport samples that you are currently rendering. And you can turn off the denoising as well. But obviously only do as much as your system can handle. If it starts sounding like it needs to take off, then just go ahead and reduce that viewport samples for me. Okay, so now we can start posing your sim. Select the pose in the outliner and then change the mode from object mode to pose mode. Select one of the bones and then you're gonna select I on your keyboard and then location, rotation and scale. Once you've done that, press A to select all of the bones and then go and find a pose that you'd like to use. I really love Helga Tisha's poses, so I'm gonna use one of hers for this demo. Make sure that you've got Sims 4 Studio downloaded at this point as well. So double click on the pose that you like and once it's opened, you'll see all of the clips on the side. Head to the clips tab and then select the pose that you'd like. I really like this pose, so I'd like to use it for our render. Once I've selected that, I go to export and then save it somewhere easy to find. Wow, 
When the pose exports, you'll get a blend file. So you're gonna double click on that to open it. And once it's opened, you'll see the pose. What you'll do now is select all of the bones by pressing A, make sure they're all selected, and then you're gonna hit Control and C. Go back to the window with your sim and press, make sure you press A to select all the bones and then Control and V. And it is as simple as that. As you can see, the pose that your sim is doing is the same pose that the base sim is doing. In the next part of this tutorial, I'll be showing you how to set up your lighting, your camera, and how to actually export a render. I hope this helped. Let me know how you like it and make sure you like and subscribe and turn on your notifications.